So thrilled to be with Vitaly Beckman right now to talk about his exciting career and your life filled with illusions. Yeah. <laughs> talk to me about how this all came to be. You're from Russia originally, and this was just a passion, just something you knew you loved. I was born in Russia, uh -huh. I grew up in Israel, and uh, I just discovered passion for it when I was a teenager, about 14, 15 years old. Because I used to paint, mm -hmm. I started drawing things and making the drawings come to life, uh, and photographs, and then I wanted to create a, a show unlike you've uh, ever seen before. It took uh, over 10 years to create this specific show, mm -hmm. and then uh, it was just a matter of improving it, and I've been traveling around the world, playing it in North, uh, North America, South America, and trying it on different audiences. And then finally, uh, I made it here. You hear illusionists, you hear magicians say that, that you know, they've worked on specific tricks and specific illusions for years and years on end. What does that really mean? What do you mean you've worked on it for 10 years? That you practice it hours and hours every day, you perfected it, you changed things. What does it mean? Some illusions you create, and you improve and perform and try different things throughout the years. Mm -hmm. And as you perform it night after night, finally you say, I, f I think I've found a better way to do it. And so it's not like you're working a day and night, it's not like that, but it's just a, a work in progress, you know. So I want to say, if we can't welcome you by saying uh, baseball has multiple outs, we can welcome you to America by saying you fooled Penn and Teller. <laughs> that you've done fool us with Penn and Teller. Right. And you yeah. fooled them. Yes, yes. You're one of a very, I mean, a very tiny number of people have actually fooled them. Yeah. Where, how did you decide which illusion you would do? How did you come to that conclusion? I've seen it and mm -hmm. it's quite remarkable. Oh, thanks. You know, I, 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 my goal was at first not to fool them, but I just wanted to perform in front of Penn and Teller, such, mm -hmm. you know, wonderful uh, icons of magic. Sure. And uh, I thought that they would enjoy that photograph where a bus comes to life and moves us a photograph. Yeah. Because it's, so, it's entertaining and And you well. pull it out of the photo yeah, album and yeah, hand yeah, it. Yeah. I did not know, that's, I didn't pick it because I, know, I thought, okay, that's what we're going to fool them. And in fact, you know, one of the reasons I'm doing magic is because I always thought magic should bring a sense of wonder, not really fool people, you know? Right. So I went to that show in, with that mindset, just with the mindset of just, yeah, create wonder. And you know, the fooling was like the icing on the cake. It's, it's a fun, fun hook. Vitaly, I get to play your assistant right now. Do you have a name for this magic trick or this illusion? Uh, I don't have a name yet. It's, it's, it's kind of new, but maybe oh. you'll help me name it. Okay. Um, here's what we're gonna do. Okay. I will ask you to take a couple of fruits okay. and arrange them on this plate. All right, let's take the orange. Mm -hmm. This is a pomegranate, right? Yeah, yeah. And one more, take and, one more. Okay, since it's a small plate, I'll do the plum. Oh, okay. You, if you want, you can. You, I'm sure you can fit the apple. It's up to you. Oh, you think I can fit the apple? Yeah. It's. Uh, but, uh, it's up to you. I want you to choose. One I, I, I'm gonna do the plum. Oh yeah, she'll do the I'm plum. I'm gonna do the plum. Okay. Do you want to change the order, like this and this? Yes. Two? Oh, okay. I do. I want to put the plum up front. Okay, the plum up front. Okay. Do you want to change the apple with any of the fruits? Again, it's totally up to you. Your choice. No, these are the most delicious of the fruits. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> well, you know, when I was a kid, I used to arrange fruits like that, like okay. uh, still life and paint them. And then I started practicing magic, and one of the first items I got was a, a deck of playing cards. Okay. And of course, uh, I will show you these cards. Uh, you can see they're all you can see they're all different cards. Yes. And what I want you to do, we're gonna do this at random. I just okay. want you to go ahead and touch one. Any just touch card, one, any yeah, card. Any card. This one. This one right here? Right here. Okay, we're gonna place it right here on this little envelope. Okay. So we made a kind of an arrangement of still life and a card, art, and magic. And our show is kind of combines art and magic in a unique way. So we got this little envelope here and it was sitting here all the time. Yes. And if you made any change to these fruits or if you made any change to the apple with, with the pomegranate for example mm -hmm. or a different card, what I'm about to show you would have not worked because this envelope was here all the time. Hold on to it. Yes, I haven't, I haven't touched the envelope right. until right this second. And this drawing is like the drawing I made when I was a kid, but you helped me make this one. Look. Inside, there's a picture of a green apple, an ace of clubs, and all the fruits. What? Exactly, you see? <laughs> what? I did not touch this, and I had no choice in, I just, what? So, yeah, you want to help me pick a name for this now? Holy <laughs> We'll call it, we'll call it holy <laughs> <laughs> From now on, like, after that. What? Yeah. What? Would you like this as a souvenir? Yes. I 
can't say a cuss word, can I? That's probably bad. We can call. Well, you can lip it. We can call this. What? 